Hey, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I'll be honest with you, I have no idea how I'm going to title this one because it's really cool and freaky. I was able to reproduce a problem uh, that I ran into the other day at a customer's and uh, I'm quite excited about it. So here's the deal. Let's see if I can go through this in one take and make sense of it. This is a uh, wireless webcam, as you can see there. And as you can see here, it is on the wireless network right now and there's his IP address. So what I did was, um, obviously I'm talking to it and what I'll do is I'll just kind of slide my browser down a bit so you can see there's the IP address. So I'm talking, I'm talk it works. So everything works. I know the SSID and the channel number and all that good stuff. Um, the problem with the customer was he wasn't finding these devices on his corporate um, APs. So we started doing that and I've got some Cisco APs as well and here you can see there was no clients on it. This access point is literally two feet from this wireless webcam so it should be talking to it and it's not uh, here's the other corporate um, AP and it's on the other side of the floor and you can see all the MAC addresses but yet there's no 50 here so he's not talking to it either uh, so as we were troubleshooting um, I ran one of my tools it's an OptiView uh, analyzer and we were trying to figure out like where was this thing going and we were able to see it uh, connected here let me you know what I'm gonna do that right now just to kinda give you a better perspective so I'm just getting into my OptiView and I'm gonna show you what that screen looks like where we were tracking this thing down and, and here we are so if I start looking at this I can see that we have access points but then there's the two corporate ones and then there's this guy right here and and, and it's not it's not a typical access point and it wasn't in the MAC address list or anything that he knew of so as we went through it, we found out, oh, that's an unmanaged access point. It's an old Linksys router that they had at the very beginning of all this. Uh, and I said, well, is it still on? And, and the fellows were sharp. And they said, no, yeah, it's on. But we disabled all the Wi-Fi. We're just using it for extra ports at the desk. And it's kind of like a little NAS for the support guys to copy files and stuff. And I said, really? That's interesting. So we remoted into it. And this is it. It's a Cisco um, access point. Um, and you can see here it's disabled. It says SSID broadcast disabled. And it says your SSID broadcast disabled. And I said, yeah, but it doesn't say the radio's disabled. It says the SSID broadcast is disabled, which means that this SSID is still alive. It's just not being actively advertised. There's no beacon being sent out. So all the devices that were talking to it were pre-configured and they know what this access point is and they know the SSID and the BSSID and the ESSID so guess what it's still gonna talk to it and they were looking and said well we thought we disabled Wi-Fi I said no no you didn't disable Wi-Fi so we went down and we, we were poking around the setup and I said in here somewhere it should have what radio on or off or Wi-Fi on or off I wasn't quite familiar with this yet so we were we were kinda just poking around and feverishly trying to look through it and I said oh network mode disabled and then network mode disabled and then we hit save and then obviously uh, that did the trick but in the OptiView side of things when we were trying to figure this out we actually went to this access point this unmanaged one and we could see there was that's the MAC address D8D1 and if you take a look at the MAC address here, D8D1. So it was still talking to that. Isn't that crazy? And the most interesting thing about this story is I've seen the same thing, but even when you disable the radios, they're still active. So you really have to be careful with access points when you turn off radios. And the best example was a customer turned off their 5 gigahertz radio and thought they turned it off. It was disabled. But guess what? People were still talking to it. So I, 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 don't, I don't know why this is happening more frequently, but I seem to be running into this issue more often. So you have to find ways to validate what people are connecting to and more importantly, what they should be connecting to. So I really hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.